Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today we're talking about slings, this guy right here, by Frank Proctor. Slings for me kind of came as an afterthought, in part because of my experience cutting my teeth in the Marine Corps with an M16A2 and a issued parade sling, which was pretty much worthless. It wasn't good for carrying your weapon, even just like strong side sling arms, anything like that, because sling attachment point was coming out the bottom of the buttstock and then up front by the a2 front sight and with that it would never carry well it'd want to fall to one side or the other never comfortable and wasn't worth a damn as far as carrying like patrol ready or anything like that ultimately that thing pretty much sucked fast forward around christmas 2001 on patrol in afghanistan i was like wow this parade sling really sucks at which point, basically fashioned myself a single point sling out of some tubular nylon and a carabiner, which I basically clipped in my body armor. Left a lot of things lacking, but it was better than that parade sling. Since then, a lot of people have come out with a lot of different slings, a lot of different options. One point, two point, three point slings, all these different things. And what I noticed first about the Frank Proctor sling was minimalism. Really small, really light. When I say small and light, I mean just that. Small, i.e. one inch webbing, and light. Whole thing weighs two ounces. How did they achieve this? By basically shedding weight where they didn't need to have any. Rather than a bunch of metal, buckles, hooks, anything like that, basically said, how can we make an attachment method that's gonna be universal and it'll work? Ended up with 550 cord. Essentially a loop on the end of the sling. What this allows is there's a little plastic keeper you can loosen it and at that point i can take this off do whatever i need to move it back put it pretty much wherever i want to and then cinch this up and slide this little plastic keeper to get that sling positioned where i want it same goes with the rear except with the rear generally depending on how you want to attach it you can actually run it through one of the slots or one of the holes that you find in most stocks so now we have a sling that is small and light. Cool story. Well, it is. Ultimately, we have all the functionality of an adjustable two-point sling in a really small, really light package. As far as, is this one-inch weapon going to be uncomfortable if I'm carrying this weapon for eight hours on patrol? Well, the unfortunate news is your weapon is going to be uncomfortable and heavy eight hours on patrol, period. Does this work? Absolutely it does. Are you gonna squeeze out a little bit of more comfort from padded sling? Possibly, I don't know. Really it comes down to where's this riding, i.e. if you have a good body armor system and you can basically throw the sling across your armor, it'll probably spread it out more. But honestly, even a full day at the range, aside from just fatigue from carrying a weapon, the issue isn't really with the sling. And ultimately, you end up with this really nice light package for an adjustable two-point sling. All the adjustment in the sling takes place right here with this buckle, which is super heavy-duty bar tacked into the webbing. And on either side of this buckle, there's ridges, which basically give you some purchase while at the same time not being so rough to abrade yourself, gear, anything along those lines. To use the adjustment in the sling, all you do is grab the buckle, pull it forward if I want to make more room in the sling, Say I need to conduct reloads, something to that effect, or if I'm not gonna be needing my weapon system, I can just grab that buckle and slide it back as far as I need to, at which point I can let this thing go. Now I have both my hands free if I need to work on something, perform some sort of task that requires both hands. And of course the real beauty in a two-point sling is the ability to wrap yourself up in it, at which point you can create a really solid shooting platform. I picked this sling up probably about two years ago, and since then, it's stayed at least on one of my rifles, and I've used it quite a bit. I really like it, lightweight package, all the functionality of a good adjustable two-point sling. Top of that, pretty good deal. You can pick them up over at Frank Proctor's site, all made here in the U.S., in a couple different colors. The Marpet Brown as well as Black, 29 bucks, pretty sweet deal or $5 premium for multicam or multicam black. And if you really, really want one with QDs, they make that too. I forget what the price point is, but 
pretty much all the functionality, not quite as light. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.